For the Pittsburgh Steelers, it's like, okay, we got to ask what we thought was better than what we really was. Let's get back down to the basics. And the basis is running the damn ball to play a good defense. And if you've just been looking at the offseason move, whether it's goal were coming from, you know, the inside linebacker position, helping out Devin Bush to, to Witherspoon, trying to lock down the cornerback position, coming in as a third corner like the Pittsburgh Steelers, they, they finally getting back, making moves quietly, making moves quietly that they get them to the playoffs slash can we get a chance to get to the Super Bowl contention. So that's why I think they had with it. That's why I got the Pittsburgh Steelers pulling off this win against the Buffalo Bills. And the reason why is they don't like that sour taste in this mouth. I'm sure Seven is trying to get to Seven. And I think now he understands, man, I do have to run the ball. And Ike, I just got a push alert. This is not breaking news yet, but I guess Big Ben has talked with the media and he says this isn't a quote. I'm just reading off my phone right now. I think TJ should get whatever he wants. That's a direct quote coming from the Steelers quarterback. So assuming TJ Watt plays, and that's a big question looming over this, at the time of this recording, I got imagine that he would play in week one, but we'll see as contract yeah. negotiations continue. But... <laughs> I, I, I hope he's ready to go. You know, they reach a deal and everything too. And he, you know, he's ready to play at that level of a defensive player of the year because Steelers will certainly need it if they want to upset the Bills on Sunday. I, I've got the Bills winning 27 to 20 at home. I think Josh Allen, you mentioned playing outside of his body and trying to do too much. I think there's huge potential there for Allen potentially to win the MVP this season. I also like the Bills odds a lot to be the favorite team and to win the AFC conference in the 2021 season. The Chiefs are the favorite, but Buffalo at plus 550, I think, provides tremendous value for anyone wanting to lay a wager on that, too. But the Bills, too, they, you know, you mentioned the struggles with the running game. Adding guard John Feliciano in the offseason, then also Emmanuel Sanders on the outside, yet another weapon for Josh Allen to utilize, too. So I've got the Bills winning at home against the Steelers in week one. It might not be what our listeners and viewers want to hear, Ike, but I've got to call it how I see it. 